everybody. I just got back from vacation. Um, so my kitchen is pretty empty of fresh fruit and vegetables and stuff. So I will show you inside my fridge here. That's of nothing. I cleaned it out before we left. This is some uh, leftovers from our trip. Some takeout food that we still have left over. Some fries and some wings. And these are the fresh kosher pickles that I made a video of up here. And my friend picked me up some cream when I got home. But, like, there's no vegetables. There's carrots. So... And there's some hot dogs up in here. And hummus. And cheese. That's about the extent of what we have. So, I'm doing groceries on Friday. So today is Wednesday. Um, I am going to go to the store uh, today because boneless, skinless chicken breasts are on sale for like, I think it's a dollar a pound, which is unheard of here in Canada. And I haven't seen it under two ninety nine a pound in years. So I'm going to go pick up some of that because I have planned for an upcoming video of a whole bunch of freezer meals. So that is my plan because school starting in two, in two weeks, well, a week and a half. So I need to have some freezer meals so that we can go, 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 have a meal on any day of the week when life is just too darn busy. So what we are having today is from my freezer, I took out leftovers. <laughs> See, I just took leftovers of uh, pasta and sauce. And we're heating that for lunch and some garlic sticks. So I'm going to have that. And, uh, I'm going to go see what, uh, what canned veggies we have in that. Because we have a full pantry. It's not like we don't have any food in the house. As I'm always shopping the sales. So, there's food. So I'm not really concerned. And that's the taco kits that I got in my last video. Of things. So I just know that I will pick up today at the store some um, of the boneless chicken and some bread because we are out of bread. We have pita bread, but uh, and I think three or four bagels. So that's about it. But I thought I would give you a touch base on how you shop your pantry and see what you have. Like on muffins, all of these things are easily freezable. Another spot to find the stickers, deli meat. Deli meat can be easily thrown in the freezer and or made into sandwiches and frozen. So if I need deli meat, which I don't like now, or pepperettes, I could easily pick them up. They have an expiry date in a few days. Well, you make sandwiches and you can freeze them or just freeze the deli meat into smaller portions so that when you take out a package, you're making one or two sandwiches. There's no distinguishing of taste or flavor or texture with deli meat frozen. And here's the creme de la restance. Dollar and a pound, four fourteen a kilogram. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, that came off. For about five bucks. So the package is. One point two kilograms, five bucks. Can't beat that. 
Another spot to look at saving money is find your international food aisle that you'll have stuff from various different countries. And sometimes you can find cans. So let's just look at beans. $1.19. They're not on sale this time. But the dried beans here. And you can get some pickles and roasted red peppers and I mean the sweet and condensed milk is two ninety nine versus the Eagle brand, which is always three something. But the dried beans prices two pounds, but two bucks, about a dollar a pound. You know. These ones two pounds, about two dollars a pound. And the bigger bag, which is 11 pounds, it's still about two bucks a pound. So it's not much of a savings with the bigger bag here in that particular aisle. And look here, another sweet and condensed milk, $1.99. That one's $3.29. This is in the Caribbean aisle, so there's like jerk sauces and hot sauce. And here they're on 99 cents. And these ones are on sale for 99 cents instead of $1.29. So if I needed beans, I could pick those up in this aisle. Another place to save money is usually by the caches. There's sometimes a shelf or in this store um, a basket with things marked out. Like sunscreen, $4.50 swimming diapers if you have a baby that needs it. Right, you know, it's usually out of season stuff. But then there's things like tampons. You know? For four fifty. You can't beat those prices. And those things don't go bad. So if it's something that you normally use, pick it up. You know? Like four dollars and fifty cents SPF 60450 Instead of the salad being a dollar 88 or the dollar 99 one, I can use one head of lettuce for 77 cents to make twice as much chopped lettuce.